Let's work through an example of setting up a surface integral as a double integral using a parameterization. So in this case, our surface m is the graph of the function z equals 2 thirds x to the 3 halves plus y to the 3 halves. And we're looking at this graph over the unit square where the x values range from 0 to 1 and so do the y values. So this is the this is the surface that's the domain of our function, which is f of x, y, z equals x times z. And so what we want to do is use the some parameterization, which I'm calling r of u v, to rewrite this surface integral as a double integral. All right, and so f d s becomes f of r of u v times the magnitude of r sub u cross r sub v d a. All right, so in this case, uh, even though I used u and v here because these are the sort of general parameter variable names that I've been using, in this case, we can just parameterize the surface in terms of x and y. And because it's the graph of a function, we have the standard graph parameterization. So that parameterization is just x, y, and then z is whatever the formula is right here for the function in terms of x and y. So we get 2 thirds x to the 3 halves plus y to the 3 halves. All right, and then the domain of the parameterization is, is simply the, the relevant values of x and y. All right, and then at this point, we should be getting comfortable with the fact that the, the normal vector r sub x cross r sub y is simply uh, negative the partial derivative of this function with respect to x. And so I can ignore this term because it's just in terms of y. And so I get 3 halves times 2 thirds is 1, and then x to the 1 half. So I get the square root of x, and I take the opposite of the partial with respect to x. And similarly, uh, the partial with respect to y will just be the square root of y. So I get negative square root of y for the second coordinate. And then the last coordinate is always 1. So this is the vector that at each point gives me a normal vector to the surface. And the magnitude of this vector is exactly what we'll use to adjust the integrand for the, surf for the surface integral as a dub double integral. All right, and so the magnitude of this vector is simply uh, 1 plus, and then this squared is just x, and this squared is y. So I get the square root of 1 plus x plus y. Finally, we have to plug the parameterization in for x, y, and z in, ter in terms of f for this formula. So I get f of r of x, y is equal to, well, it's x times z. So I get x times, and then z equals this. So times 2 thirds x to the 3 halves plus y to the 3 halves. Okay, so I get the integral 0 to 1, integral 0 to 1, that came from our bounds for x and y. And then I get this function, so I get 2x over 3 times x to the 3 halves plus y to the 3 halves. And then times the magnitude of this normal vector, which is 1 plus x plus y to the 1 half. And then dy dx, let's say. Since the bounds are both 0 to 1, I guess I could write it either way. Um, and there you go. So now we, we've we started with a surface integral over the surface that was the graph of a function. And we used the standard graph parameterization. There are other parameterizations you could use, but having a nice standard one is a good thing because then it works the same way every time as you go through this process right here of coming up with the integration factor. And so we plug in the parameterization to the function, multiply by the integration factor, and then we can rewrite this as a double integral. Now at this point, to solve this double integral, you know, this is fairly complicated. It might not be impossible, but um, the in this case, we're just looking to set up the integral. And the work from here is now just sort of working with double integrals. And, and that's the general notion for working with surface integrals is that you use parameterizations to rewrite them as double integrals and then we just use all of the techniques we developed for double integration to to carry out the work from this point on